Hey guys, and don't forget to check out wildlifecrystal.com for more fun learning. It's a multimedia platform for parents, teachers, kids, and students. So you can learn way more, see all the videos, and we have blog posts, and we also have a wildlife crystal shop where each purchase helps support wildlife conservation initiatives. And you can even get this cool water bottle that I'm drinking out of today with this little chameleon. He's really cute. We're trying to reduce our use of plastics. Wildlife crystal and Kaya the koala. Kids are the future. Take action now. Welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the beautiful bestie, Kaya the Koala. Hello, all you wonderful wildlife specialists. And hello to you too, Crystal. I am so happy to see you, and I'm sure that you've been working very hard preparing the clues for our animal of the day. You bet. But honestly, it's not hard work because I love animals so much. Preparing fun facts to share with everyone is just that fun. Well then, no time like the present. What delightful bits of truth do you have for our exciting adventure today? Ooh, wait till you hear these clues. Our animal of the day can be found all over the world except Antarctica and Europe. They can be found in areas like Africa and the Americas and Southeast Asia. Our animal of the day is a fierce hunter that can kill with one powerful bite. And curiously enough, he sleeps with his mouth wide open. This animal is also a reptile and has hard bony plate-like scales covering his body. Wow, those are cool clues. I can't wait till you tell us more about the mouth wide open part. Let me think. Okay, go ahead and think about it. I'll give you all five seconds. Okay, come on everybody. One, two, three. The animal of the day is the alligator. Great job everyone. It's not exactly correct, but it's as close as you can get. The animal of the day is the crocodile. That was my second guess. It's really understandable that you would guess alligator instead of crocodile. They are very similar. You see, there are 24 species of crocodilians. Of that, 14 are crocodile species. And there are many similarities between all of these animals. Yes, but what exactly is the difference between alligators and crocodiles? I mean, how can you tell them apart? To begin with, crocodiles have pointed V-shaped snouts, while alligators have wide U-shaped snouts. When crocodiles close their mouths, both of their upper and lower teeth are visible. When alligators close their mouths, their teeth are not visible. But make no mistake, they are both ferocious fighters. I am so happy to hear you report to us that there are so many out there and that they're all fierce predators because that means that they don't face threats or dangers, right? I wish I could confirm that statement, but unfortunately, too often we are learning how all animals face unnatural threats. The crocodile is no exception. Oh no, what kind of threats? I'm sad to report that over half of all crocodilians are threatened with extinction due to loss of habitat and climate change. Deforestation for human development has hurt the crocodile population greatly. People are destroying the crocodile's homes with every inch of forest and wetlands that is destroyed. And we can't forget about the disasters that are being created by climate change, especially on fresh water and saltwater species of crocodiles. Can you explain that more, please? Yes, of course. You see, 
all of the water on Earth, ocean seas and rivers do not have the same kind of water. Some have fresh water. This means that there is no salt in the water and that all the animals that live there can only live in fresh water. And of course, some have salt water, which means that they also have unique animals that can only live and thrive in salt water. The rise in sea levels because of climate change is causing the salt water to mix with the fresh water. Many crocodiles are dying because they are not able to adapt or not able to live in that water. In some cases, if the crocodile is able to survive in the mixed water, they are mating with the new species and this is causing the original species of crocodiles to be destroyed. This is such important information for everyone to know. Now I understand much better what is going on. I hope everyone understands how many problems climate change is creating. How can we help? I love when you ask that question because our animal friends need our help. Let's begin by understanding the importance of a balance in nature. We cannot keep abusing our environment and think that everything will stay the same. Global warming and climate change are serious problems that we created and must take responsibility for our actions. We must start and continue to always reduce the amount of waste that we make and help slow down climate change. Let's use less water and less electricity. For example, let's all turn off the water when we brush our teeth. Don't keep it running. And just as easy is turning off the lights in every room when there's no one in it. Let's have a competition at school to see who can collect the most recyclable cans and bottles. All of these little tasks will help us do a big part in helping the environment. We should invest in remodeling all of the current structures instead of destroying trees and habitats to build new ones. How can we keep taking homes away from animals and expect everything in mother nature to stay the same? We wildlife specialists will do our part to continue to get the word out. After all, we don't want a world with no crocodiles. Are crocodiles endangered? Not all of them. Sadly, there are a few species of crocodiles that are endangered and the illegal crocodile hunting business is not helping at all. Let's ask our parents and teachers to never purchase any products made from crocodile skin or any animal skin for that matter. Crocodiles do not belong on humans. We don't need their skins, they do. Never wear animal skins. Repeat after me, everyone. Never wear animal skins. Never hurt any animal. This is what every wildlife specialist believes and that everyone should believe. That is great advice. I love it. Now that we know how to help the crocodiles, let's learn more fun facts about their lives. Yes, please. Let's begin with their mating habits. Freshwater crocodiles mate during the dry season in the country that they inhabit. This tends to be July through August. Saltwater crocodiles mate during the wet season. After a month, the female typically lays 13 to 20 eggs in a nest or a hole in the sandbar. After about two months, the female begins to hear scratching and cracking sounds from the nest and knows that her babies or hatchlings are coming out soon. Once the hatchlings are out of the eggs, the female will put them in her mouth and take them down to the water. Once in the water, some will not survive because they are often eaten by birds and fish. The ones that do survive can live 60 to 70 years, and some species even more. That's a long time. Yes, you're right. And there's another fun fact. The gender of the hatchlings depends on the temperature of the egg while the egg is waiting to hatch. You completely lost me. Can you explain that to me? I mean, if the temperature is cool around 86 degrees, then the hatchlings are female. If the temperature is warm around 93 degrees, then the hatchlings are males. And this is another reason why we need to take control of climate change and slow it down. If the temperatures keep rising, there will be more male crocodiles than female crocodiles. And less females means less mating, which means less crocodile hatchlings. The population of crocodiles will suffer. That is so interesting. What do they eat? Well, when they are small, crocodiles will eat small insects and even small frogs. When they get larger, their prey gets larger too. Adult crocodiles have about 70 teeth which are always being replaced. Oh, I get it. It's just like when we lose our teeth and we leave them for the tooth fairy. Well, kind of, but not exactly. 
People only get two sets of teeth in a lifetime. Our baby teeth are the first set, and then when we lose them, then we get our second and final set. Crocodiles get a new set of teeth almost every year of their life. Do you mean that they get 60 or more sets of teeth in their lifetime? You got that right. And the funny thing is that they don't even use their teeth to chew. Crocodiles use their teeth to grab and hold their prey, to crush and break large prey, and to break outer shells of some prey. Once they snap their strong mouths together, they won't let go. That reminds me. Do you know why the teacher punished the crocodile in class? Because he got snappy with her. <laughs>Good one, you cracked me up. Hey, what kind of animals do adult crocodiles eat? In general, they will eat any animal that is smaller than them, like fish, frogs, and smaller mammals. Crocodiles are carnivores, which means that they mostly eat meat. They are also gastroliths. What is that? Don't tell me they pass gas like my dad after lunch. Definitely not. Gastroliths are animals that eat small rocks that help them to digest their food. Now that you mention it, I remember that you told us that about the emu. Also a gastrolith. Great memory, Kaya. You are an amazing wildlife specialist. You're right, I did mention this before. Crocodiles are good predators with their strong bite, extremely developed sense of smell, and sense of hearing. They are excellent swimmers too they can actually hear underwater. Their strong tail helps to propel or push them through the water quickly. They can swim three times faster than us humans. While their main propeller is their strong tail, their four short legs and four webbed feet help them too. Is that webbed like a duck's webbed feet? Excellent job, yes, you are correct. I love to see how you are learning so much and remembering so much. This is a sign of a great wildlife specialist. You know what helps me to remember? Whenever my friends come to play, we sit and watch episodes of Wildlife Crystal. Again and again, we love being part of your team. You are all great. You are too. Tell us more. Okay, let me tell you how big crocodiles can get. Female crocodiles can get about 88 pounds, which is the weight of nine cats. And the male crocodiles can be up to 160. 60 pounds, which is about the weight of three microwaves. When it comes to their length, females get about seven feet. That's like putting six bowling pins on top of each other. The males get to 10 feet long, which is about nine bowling pins on top of each other. Another fun fact is that saltwater crocodiles are usually bigger and stronger and fiercer than the freshwater crocodiles. Are they always in the water? They are mostly seen in water because they like to stay cooled off. Often they are seen with their mouths wide open. Why? Are they always hungry? No, not at all. Crocodiles keep their mouths open to cool off and let their body heat escape. They pant kind of like our dog pants on a hot day. They can even climb trees and sit to cool off and also keep an eye out for their prey. I never knew that crocodiles could climb trees. We are always learning new things here. Here's another fun fact. Crocodiles are also nocturnal. This means that they generally move around and hunt at night. I think this has been a real power packed meeting with you today. So much amazing, interesting and fun facts about the crocodile. Remember, it's up to us the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure that animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now it's question time, question time. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we just learned today to the test? I'm ready, spaghetti. True or false? The crocodile is a reptile and a carnivore. The correct answer is true. Crocodiles are reptiles and carnivores. Crocodile babies are called A, happening, B, happiness, C, hatchlings, or D, big babies. 
The correct answer is C, hatchlings. How does the female crocodile help the new hatchlings get to the water? A. She pushes them down the hill. B. She loads them into a baby carriage. C. She carries them in her mouth. Or D. She calls an Uber for them. The correct answer is C. She carries them in her mouth. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wild Life.